Welcome to Good Myth of Gamora. Let's learn about some of the most, that has to be fake, but isn't fishes swimming in the waters. But first, let's donate $1,000 to the Jed Foundation to aid in their mission to protect emotional health and pre prevent suicide for teens and young adults. The Jed Foundation partners with high schools and colleges to strengthen their mental health, substance abuse, and suicide prevention programs, and they work to equip young people with the skills and knowledge to help themselves and each other. Please join us in giving to this very important organization, the Jed Foundation, at jedfoundation.org. Yes, thank you for being your mythical best, for checking out the charities that we highlight and support on the wheel. Let's do a little fishing. You know, these work just like conventional rods. <laughs> yeah. They don't, really. So, um, each of these fish has the name, oh! has its name on the bottom. You've caught one. And then reel that puppy in. It's not a puppy, it's a fish. And then we're, you're gonna have to decide if that is a real fish or one that the mythical crew made up. Blammy Zinger. A Blammy, Blammy Zinger. Zinger. Hmm. When you say official name of a fish, do you mean like if you were to find, I actually had a fish book as a kid. You know how you'd have like a bird book or a fish book that just had a bunch of pictures of things in it? Yeah. I had a I mean, fish especially book. A, I, mean, I had a tree book. I was, in, I was actually really into fishing. You know, me and Ben Greenwood fished all mm -hmm. the time. And I don't know if Ben gave me that book, but anyway, I don't recall seeing Blammy Zinger or names like Blammy Zinger. So you're saying fake? I'm saying real, and I think it's an Australian fish because you know how the Aussies Zinga. they say things like "blame zinga." Yeah, yeah, I hear them say that kind of thing all the time. Like wallaby. I feel like I gotta change my it answer now. Is fake. Huh. Oh, it's fake, huh? All right, let me give it a shot. All right, I'm gonna try to catch what to me looks like a stingray. Up, oh, got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Bastard mullet. A bastard mullet? Well, a mullet is a fish. A bastard mullet, just, he, he wasn't intentional. A fish born out of wedlock? I'm gonna I say, think that's most fish. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say real. I'm definitely. gonna say this is also fake. It's real. Oh. It's also known as the thread fin fish. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> the thread fin fish. Look at and, that um, thing. They are known to breathe air by gulping at the surface of the ocean, and they use this technique to survive in ox oxygen poor water. Um, they are popular angling fish, and they're edible, but they aren't a prize catch. Not a prize catch. So a, a popular angling fish, does that mean you kinda, you catch them and then you kinda wrestle with them? Is that what that means? I think it just means it's a popular fish to actually fish for as an angler. I mean, you know, you really missed out on some of those summers, man. I mean. I would hear about them. We, well, wasn't invited. It wasn't that you weren't invited, it was that you were weird about stuff like that. You didn't, you, did, you like, uh, you, you were. Well, hold on, we don't know the reason. <laughs> you were scared. You were scared of the fish. You were like scared of, to like take the fish off and to deal with the fish. And we were like, well, I, we don't want to upset him. I do remember all the stories of like you would catch a carp, but then it would take the line down the stream forever, and then you would run down the stream beside it. You would you would angle it. Well, there's so many memories, but one of them is the is the summer of the bowfin. You remember the summer of the bowfin? And I think it was 1986 for some reason. That was seems that was too early though. Maybe I, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. The okay, the so basically the way it's set up, and you may remember this if you watch some of our, uh, you know, the video, the Bowie's Creek, going back to Bowie's Creek videos uh, from last year, whenever that was. But so you've got the the Keith Hills like golf course area where the creek comes through and makes the lakes and then it turns into the creek that then goes into the river. And when things like get really, really flooded, sometimes weird fish would swim all the way up from the river to the creek and the lake below that last spillway. They couldn't go up the last spillway. Yeah. And in that little pond at the bottom of the spillway, one summer, all of a sudden, we started catching these crazy fish called bowfin. If you look these things up, 
they are literally prehistoric. Like they have not changed since prehistoric times. Oh. So they have crazy teeth. They're like shaped like an eel, have these big scales that look like something, you know, prehistoric, like, like a body armor type thing. And we would just catch so many of them. They were so big, but they would literally. That big? Wow. This long, this big around. Yeah, see, there's yeah, we we, yeah, we didn't catch scary. any that big, but that's crazy. We man. got some close to that, but their teeth were so sharp that you know Ben he figured everything out. He ended up creating a, a lead line that was metal because if you, if they bit the a regular fishing line, they just broke it. They just completely severed it. So he created these little metal lead lines that would be like the last six inches of the line would be metal, a wire. Oh wow! With a bait on it, and then we we bring them in. You all we do is like look at them, be like that thing's awesome. Take the hook out of its mouth with like I don't remember how we did that. Cause Take a like, picture with your cell phone. Then, no no pictures, and then we just threw it. Then we threw, threw it back. back. Yeah, they're not good eating. But I remember you would catch fish, and then you would run down the bank and like. You there was a couple of yeah, a couple of times where that. Let's happened. each catch one. You're, you're kind of making it easy. You're to... What you got? I have a ding dong dilly. Ding dong dilly. I'm gonna say real. I hope it's real. I want to know that the ding dong dilly is out there. Uh, I Dinging actually, his dong I agree and... with you on this. I think the dilly definitely seems real. It's ding dong dilly. Why not? You are both wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about the sarcastic fringe head? That's fake. Come on. You're yeah. not gonna put sarcastic. That's fake. No, they're real. No. Let's, yeah, they're oh small my God. saltwater fish with a large mouth and aggressive territorial behavior. When two fringe heads have a territorial battle, they awesome. wrestle by pressing their open mouths against each other as if they were kissing. This allows them to determine which is the larger fish, which establishes dominance. Whose mouth is bigger? Yep. And they live off the coast of California. It looks like they've got a a bat taped to their face. That's how kissing got started, was whose mouth is bigger. Sarcastic. That's how, that's how French kissing got started. Like, oh. Sarcastic fringe hit. Fringe I don't know, I think kissing. You win. And, people, and then people were like, you know what? This is kind of fun. I got another one. Let's do it on purpose. Cookie cutter shark. There's a, cu there's a, cu a cutter shark? Is there a cookie cutter shark? No, mm. fake. Sharks, I mean, if there's a hammerhead, then there's a cookie cutter. Real. It's real? Yes. Oh! Yeah. What? That, that looks one, like a- That one's desiccated. That one's, that one's been in some liquids inside a lab for a long time. It's mm -hmm. literally coming out of the jar to smile at us. Man, that one look, that looks like a, like a saturated It looks like a, head. A, a deep, if you're, okay, you know about those Greenland sharks that are like, they're discovering that they're hundreds and like centuries year old? Somebody look that up. How old is the oldest Greenland shark? That's it's a shark crazy, that's old, or like older than our country. Hey, I um, also want you to look up Mythical Kitchen Channel. Check it out, or if you've checked it out, check it out again. They fancify foods, they munch myths. I like that series, you know? You think you know something about a, a burger or a pizza or and, a whatnot, and, and you don't, or maybe you do and they prove it. Uh, they make the studio smell good too. Uh, every week, Mythical Chef yeah, Josh will teach you something, like how to draw a big booty penguin. Check it out over there. Listen, before it's a, we- It's a whole other channel, y'all. 392 years old, plus or minus 120 years. Okay. A fish that's just swimming around in very, very cold water. So it could be over 500 years very, old. Very, very slowly. I mean, what do we, what do we, what, what can we learn from the Greenland shark? You should be taking ice baths, y'all. Don't rush it. Uh, frogfish. I mean, that's not even creative, so I hope it's real. Frogfish, real. Fake. I'm saying fake. There is no frogfish. You'd think there would be, but there's not. A real. Okay. Oh, it's, it's got feet. What on earth? Hold on. Is that feet? It's yeah, they're pectoral legs. fins, and they they do allow them to walk along the ocean floor. It looks like a crazy dog going it. Like it just got groomed. That's like a, a I mean, that's a Muppet. That's an underwater Muppet. I like to have that as a pet. That's, cr I, man, those deep sea realities. Deep sea realities. I do not want 
To That's my in. favorite show. I got one. I got one. Cut it up. Oh, gotta get it again. You ever caught the same fish twice? Probably. That's the, the stupid ones. Got one. Got one. Flamboyant cuttlefish. Flamboyant. Well, cuttlefish, we know is it. I mean, if a sarcastic French head is, then a flamboyant cuttlefish must be a real I mean, thing. You're gonna get. I think they get flamboyant down there. They got some real eye-catching fins. Yeah. I'm saying real. You're saying real. Yep. They're real. Oh, it, that's a. It, oh, oh yeah. You know what? Have you cuttlefish. watched? Have you watched cuttlefish videos on the net? So <laughs> th they they can change color. Um, like an octopus. Right? They do all the cool stuff that um, octopuses do. They have two tentacles and eight arms, and they, when they're threatened, they release a cloud of ink. Yeah, so do I. So are they an octopus? No. Or is it a fish? And it doesn't change color. I guess it just like depending on the angle that you're. Looking I thought they at could it. blend in, just like a. Uh, I've seen some cuttlefish videos. Maybe I was watching the octopus videos and I didn't know it. And finally, Whomping Dangler. <laughs> that was my nickname in high school. I you had wanna, to say it. If it dangles, you must whomp it. Um, whomping Dangler. That, I mean. This is fake. This is not a thing. I hope it's real. It sure would be disappointing to, for the last one to be fake, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it, it, fate decided it. Fake decided it. It's fake, man. It's not real. Don't get your hopes up. Yeah. I'm, oh, it's, it's fake. fake. Mm. Well, you know what? What we've done is we've ended on we've ended on a low note here. Yeah. And we're gonna send you off into the rest of your life for today, until tomorrow. Unless is it Friday? I hope so. <laughs> if it is, just lower then, your expectations. Then just come back Monday. You know what? Yeah. If not, come back tomorrow. Okay. Don't worry. You don't need to know what day it is. He doesn't. Yeah. Is this hot, Josh? Can you don't touch it? No, don't touch it. Can I, I have a, look. I have a burn scar on me. Really? I was doing a grilling and chilling night, and I chilled a little too hard and grilled my hand. <laughs> <laughs>